Hello, this is Ben with Aphone. Today we're going to go over general wiring for the LEF series system. First, we'll show best practices for wiring the system with a single LEF5 answering station, also referred to as a master station in some literature, including door release. Then, we'll add on an additional answering station and show off some of the features. As always, be sure to take precautions whenever you work with any sort of low voltage electrical device. Disconnect power whenever you are touching the wires or internal components of the stations. There are three types of stations for the system, door stations, substations, and answering stations. For wiring purposes, door and substations are the same, so we will refer to them as the door stations going forward. For this example, we're going to use an LED door station. Door stations are simple, single button stations that call into answering stations like our LEF5. First, we'll need to access the wiring terminals on the stations. Door and substations will either have easily accessible wiring terminals on the back or a pigtail with colored wires. On answering stations, the terminals are inside the station. To access these, use your fingernails or a small screwdriver to remove the plastic covering the buttons on the front and loosen the screw or screws that hold the front and back together. Note that the screw doesn't need to come out all the way to open the station. Once we can access the terminals, it is important to choose the right type of wire. To help prevent electrical interference and noise on the system, we strongly recommend using stranded, shielded cable. The shielded cable will have a drain wire on it. If there's any sort of hum or noise on the system, this drain wire can be attached to an earth ground on one side, usually close to the answering station. Be sure not to connect it on both sides, since this can, in some situations, turn the wire into a radio antenna. Door stations can be connected to the answering station using either two or three conductor cable. Two conductor cable can work fine if there's only a single answering station on the system, but it's usually best practice to use three, just in case of future expansion. Most door and answering stations will come with a jumper between E and negative to facilitate two conductor wiring. So that needs to be removed from all stations when we're using three conductors. Door stations connect to answering stations on terminals E, negative and 1. E connects to E and negative to negative. The 1 wire connects to another numbered terminal on the answering station. Whichever number is selected, that is the button on the answering station that will correspond with that door station. For our example, we'll put it on terminal 1, turning it into door 1. Wiring on answering stations is a bit more complicated, since they can answer calls from door stations and other answering stations, trigger door release, and are connected to the power supply. Now, once we've connected our door station, it's important to note that two door stations cannot be connected to the same numbered channel. Then we'll need to connect the power supply to the answering station. Connect the positive and negative wires coming from the power supply to the positive and negative terminals on the answering station. As a quick aside, this always needs to be a 12 volt DC power supply, such as Aphone's model PS1208UL. Using AC power can damage the stations. If you're using door release, you will need an RYPA relay for each separate door release. Connect the black wires on the RYPA to the common L terminal, and then the numbered K terminal that corresponds with the matching door station. In our case, since our door is on channel 1, we would connect our RYPA to L and K1. Once this is connected, the yellow wires provide a momentary dry contact that can be wired in series with the door strike or access control system. For our setup here, we're showing it in series with a door strike and a separate power supply. Now this wiring setup will be the same for most LEF series answering stations. Our exception is the LEF3L. These use color-coded wires instead of the K and L terminals. For door 1, use white and brown. For door 2, use white and red. And for door 3, use white and orange. Otherwise, the underlying principles are the same. At this point, we have a working system with one door station and one answering station. We can hit call on the door station, which makes the answering station chime. We can then hit the let channel and tap talk on the station to answer the call. By default, we'll have the audio coming from the door to the answering station. 
to be heard outside, we would hold down on the talk button on the answering station, then release it again to listen. To unlock the door, we can press the key button, which will activate the RYPA to trigger the door strike. The door will remain unlocked for as long as we hold the button. If the door needs to stay unlocked for a set period, you can integrate it with an access control system or a third-party timing relay. If you have more than one answering station, door stations and RYPA relays can be wired to whichever answering station is the most convenient to reach. Then you will parallel the following wires between the answering stations. You'll parallel across any numbered terminals going to door stations. So in our case, one goes to one. Terminals E, R, positive, negative, L, and any K terminals being used. Note that even if there is more than one answering station, only a single power supply can be used. It's also a good idea to use a separate wire to parallel the L and K terminals between the answering stations. This can help cut down on noise when the door release is activated. If the answering stations need to talk between each other, connect each station C terminal to one of the other station's numbered terminals. You can think of C as the call terminal. Whatever a station C terminal connects to on the other station, that is what they'll use to call it. For simplicity, we'll call our two answering stations Station A and Station B. We'll set things up so Station A calls Station B using Channel 2, and Station B calls Station A using Channel 3. Connect the C terminal on Station A to the 3 terminal on Station B. Then we'll connect the C terminal on Station B to the second terminal on Station A. Let's see it in action. If we hit the call button on the door station again, now both answering stations will chime, and either one can answer the call, communicate with the door, or release the door strike. If the two answering stations need to talk with each other, hit the channel button we assigned before. The answering station that receives the call does not need to press any buttons. Communication begins immediately, and the calling station controls the direction of the call. As before, press talk to speak, and release to listen. Once we're done, we can hit off to end the call. And with that, we have a working LEF series system. For more details about wiring and other accessories and specific system setups, see our wiring diagram library at the link below. Thank you for watching.